Hi there and welcome to Lavinia Stamps' YouTube channel. My name is Tracy and I've designed an exclusive range of stamps especially for QVC. So today I'm going to show you how to make two different cards using our exclusive stamps, uh, using our Speedball Soft River Roller and a number of ink pads that I've got. So I hope it's inspirational to you and I hope you enjoy it. So please sit back and enjoy. Thank you. So starting with our first card, we're going to brayer onto our matte card which is very very smooth. It's my personal preference to brayer onto matte card, you can brayer onto other cards also. Um, I've used a circle cutter just to pop this circle out here which we're going to use for our moon or our sun. Now because it's slightly tacky it means we can place that down without having to worry about it moving at all. So moving on, I'm going to start with the sunshine yellow and our Bray roller, our Speedball soft rubber roller. So inking it Remembering to take the excess ink off first, that's really important. Also take the edge off where it tends to gather and then just transfer that over to your card. And we're just going to simply work our way around the edge of the card. good to start with a nice light colour and then bring in your stronger colours or darker colours over the top and they blend much easier that way. Okay. So I'm going to use the uh, cranberry now which is a really nice red and I'm going to bray that over the top of the sunshine yellow. So again taking off and then just simply bray that over the top and then work your way again around the card. Okay, that's our last side. Now, moving on to the uh, cut and dry, we're going to use the eggplant just to go around the edge of the moon or the sun. So, take a little off first before you start, and then starting from the centre out just move around the edge working your way around all the edge until you've got a nice even colour going all the way around like so And now we can take that off. Now because we've got a very white moon or sun here, we're going to sort of 
dim that down a little by just adding the sunshine yellow over the top. So inking up again, taking off that excess and then simply just brayer over the top of that and it just mutes that whiteness. There we go. So moving on to the stamps now, starting with our fairy, we're going to ink the fairy up in our onyx black. Okay, so placing the fairy down now in the centre of our moon, give that a good press down. Okay, there we go. And now moving on to the dandelion, all I've done here is slightly bent the stem because we want to put that over the top. So inking at this time in the crimson red and then we're just going to simply bob that down over the top just above the fairy's head give that a good press down like so. And then taking our other stamp we're just going to pop that around the base of the card stamp off for a couple as well. This just gives a lighter impression which adds depth to the card. Okay, so our last stamp which is our star stamp Inking up in the crimson red again. Stamping off first and then we're just going to simply dot a few of these around. And then stamping in the blue, the deep lagoon, sorry. I'm going to just stamp a slightly different colour over the top. Again, just bringing depth to the card. Really nice colours that go together, they complement each other really well. So I think we need to ground our fairy now. So what we're going to do is tear some paper. This is just normal photocopy paper. So rather than tearing that way, it frays the edge, which isn't what you want. We need to actually pull this. And we get a much nicer tear. we tend to use the frayed edge it can get saturated in ink which then can leave a mark on your actual, actual card so using the cut and dry now and our eggplant
take a little off and then just sweep that over the edge of the card. And this will just ground the fairy nicely. There we go. Now if we want some hills in the distance, we just do a similar thing. Just take, tear some sort of random hill shapes. Again, placing that over the top. But this time, we're not going to re-ink this. We're going to use what's left on the sponge. Very gently, take that over the edge. There we go, so you can just see that there. Gives the illusion of a foreground and background. Moving on to the uh, craft sheet now, or the heat mat, which has got a really nice waxy feel to it, which enables you to go around the edge of your card using your cut and dry. But what's nice about it is that it's smooth. Okay, so it just gives you that sweeping motion. It's much, much easier to do it on your mat as opposed to on a piece of paper underneath. If you use paper, you'll find it sticks and drags, which then in turn can give you lines on your card. So just work your way around. There we go. So lastly, we're going to just place a little bit of glitter over the top. We're going to use the liquid pearls first. This is acts as your glue but I like this because it dries raised as opposed to glue which will dry flat. So it gives you more of a jewel effect like tiny little jewels. and then simply just sprinkle the glitter over the top. Tap that off and there's your finished card. Okay, moving on to our second card now. We're going to use the same technique. So using our circle that we cut out earlier, placing that down. We're going to start with our citrus. Okay, so inking up Remembering to take the excess off and the edge where it all gathers again. <clears throat> We're going to work our way around the edge of the card. Citrus is nice, it's a nice colour, it's pale, so it's a good starting colour. Then we add our stronger colours over the top. You'll find you'll get less streaks and lines doing it this way.
Okay, so moving on to the stream now. Again, inking up. This is quite a strong colour, but it's a lovely, lovely bluey turquoise colour, which goes really nice over the top of the citrus. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to go round the edge of the sun or the moon again, and this time I'm going to go round the edge in eggplant. So using our cut and dry again, making sure that there's not too much on there. So I'm just gently taking a little off. Start from the centre outwards and work our way around the edge. This gives us a really nice purpley hue around the moon or the sun. Okay, so I'm going to peel that off now. And again, we've got quite a white moon. So I'm going to use the uh, sunshine yellow again just to take that white glow off. So I'm just going to clean the roller. So just taking that excess ink off now. And then we'll move on to our yellow. And I'm going to go over the top. There we go. That's quite nice. It takes off that sort of brightness. Moving on to our stamps now, I'm going to start with the Fairy again and our Versafine Onyx Black. So again inking up, making sure that the Fairy is completely covered. The Versafine it's a really nice ink because it depicts detail. One of my favourite ink pads. But that's my personal preference. Okay, so we're going to pop the fairy just slightly right of the moon here. Give her a good press down. There we go, perfect silhouette. So moving on to the dandelion now, we're just going to change the composition ever so slightly to the last card. So I'm inking up in the deep lagoon this time with the dandelion. And then we're just going to pop that down. Okay, 
and then repeat that process. Now if we stamp off first, this gives us a much lighter impression. So if we stamp that now over the top, that creates a really nice depth to the card. So moving on to our next stamp, and this time we're going to use the Imperial Purple. So inking up taking off and we're just going to bob one or two of these around And lastly, we're going to move on to the stars. So, going back to the Deep Lagoon, inking up, stamping off. We don't want too many dominant colours. Our focal point is our fairy. So, doing it this way works much nicer than having black all the way around the edge as well. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to tear a little bit of the paper again, remembering it's a pull away from you. We're just going to ground the fairy. So placing that over the top, we're going to use the eggplant. Take a little off and just take that over the edge like so and then using our craft sheet you, you get a much better slide using this, it's very waxy. We're going to go around the edge of the card, so starting with the stream and moving around. So if I was using paper instead of this craft mat, you would find it would tend to stick and pull. As I say, this is nice because it slides, it's very waxy. So just taking that all the way around the edge of the card. Okay, put the lid on there. Now we're going to use a little bit of the eggplant around the edge. Just like last time, just touching a few areas. Kind of frames 
your work having this nice dark edge around the edges of the card pulls you into the picture like so and then lastly we're going to go over the card using our liquid pearls so just dot a few of the liquid pearls over the top keep that pressure on and just move your hand you get nice even dots that way there we go and finishing off with the glitter which is in a, a nice puffer bottle so you've got a little bit more control and just squeeze that over the top and then tap that off and there we have our QVC stamps.